These are the top ones right here. Okay. This is the top 150 Ooh. in order. So we've, well, we've few good men's a few one. Good men is yeah. always one. That's where that piece came from. Okay. A guy in Vegas. To America is 150. Uh, that's actually out of place because oh. it's in the 80s. Uh -oh. Maybe maybe this is top hundred, okay. and this is somebody's moved some stuff around <laughs> on me. These these are let's see. That's one, two, three, four. We're, we're missing Pretty Woman. Somebody's checked Pretty Woman out because it's up there, too. There's a few missing, but that's the gist of it. Is there a movie in here that shot? What movie shocked you the most when you watched it? Like for the first time? For the first time, you didn't think it was going to be very good, and it's in the top 20. This one. Oh. Oh, brother, where art thou? Man of Constant Sorrow. That's played in it for sure, yeah. Um Somebody had seen it and said, oh, I think you're going to like it. And I was like, I looked at the cover box, and I was like, I can picture George Clooney acting this way. And then they said, oh, you know, it's after the Iliad and the Odyssey. And I'm like going, wait, what? I'm not so sure. I don't want to see yeah. this. But then you watch it, and it's just so well written mm -hmm. and even better acted. But yeah. that one was one that I was like, I had no desire to see. And at the end of it, I was like, oh, it's okay. Top. In the top 15. Yeah, it is. It's it's in there. You know, Purple Rain's the one that's mm -hmm. been there. Everybody says I put it in there after Prince died, but it's been one of my top for all time. I think this I think this one might surprise me the most. Because of my daughter. She yeah. was she grew up we were literally it was during the VHS days mm -hmm. and we literally bought two of them so that we didn't have to wait for it to rewind. So we one could be ready to go mm -hmm. cuz she was she just loved it so much. So seeing that with her and then now get to take her to the play yeah. and see her again as an adult, see it all over. That's why, and I love it too. I, I think it's an awesome well, of the Disney movie in the top ten. Yeah, and Elton John's music in yeah. it. I mean, you know, I love music, so those two things kind of combine, and it's an eclectic group. Um, but um, then this is the one that's fast moving. I don't know if anybody's seen Zero Dark Thirty, mm -hmm. but it's about that's when we got Bin Laden. Yeah, really good. That one's. Yeah. That one's steadily moved up from just being in the alphabet. It's mm -hmm. it's making its way. It should probably be top shelf. I should probably move it up. Okay. I could probably move something down. Okay. But it's so we hard. Make you make that decision. For Everybody's me. like, how could you rank them? But mm -hmm. when when you start having to put them in order, yeah, it gets harder. Like, yeah. I don't know. That movie's pretty good too. Maybe it's oh, up here. I watched this religiously when I was a little girl. Medicine Man no, or Apollo thirteen. Apollo 13. Oh yeah, yeah yeah, Apollo really good. 13. We could do this for hours. We could you know it's. It's it's funny that everybody always gives me a hard time about the list because it's mm -hmm. up to about 2,500 now. And they're like, Pfft. and then we've been talking about it for four or five hours. And I'm like, see, now you know why it, we can have our arguments. And this is my list. Yeah. This is not, I don't, I don't think that A Few Good Men is the greatest movie of all time. It's just my favorite. Right. 